First of all, thank everyone for being here. Um, uh, it's a humbling day for me uh, to see all the people that, that have played such big roles in my career here uh, in this room. Um, I've got some stuff I'd like to say and some people that I'd like to thank. Um, and this list is, this speech is longer than it should be. I apologize for that ahead of time. <laughs> um, I can't tell you uh, what an honor it is for me to even have the opportunity to sit here um, and put closure on a career that uh, exceeded my own expectations by so much. I've thought long and hard about what I wanted to say here today, and I promise you the version you're going to hear is considerably shorter uh, than where it started, and yet probably considerably longer than you're all hoping for. Um, Fortunately, when I add up all the time spent answering questions for so many people in this room, uh, I feel less bad about stealing some of your time. Um, first, let me thank Mr. and Mrs. Benson uh, for being the greatest owners that I could have ever asked for. Everything I've ever needed as a player has been provided to me, and the leadership in this success is the reason in this organization is why we've had so much success here. My opportunity here started with you, and I cannot thank you enough for having me and for everything that you've done for all of us. And certainly, uh, Mr. Benson's and all of our prayers, um, uh, we're all hoping that he gets well soon and gets back in this building sooner than later. Um, I have so many people I feel strongly I need to thank for getting me to this point. They say it takes a village to raise a child. I'm learning that uh, personally right now. And I feel like my career in New Orleans has been no different. It's an interesting life as a professional athlete. Frankly, we spend a lot of time getting far more credit than we deserve. There's so many people who have worked behind the scenes in this building that have played such huge roles in my personal and our team success that I would feel remiss not to address. Greg Benzel, Jay Mack, Doug Miller, and our entire communications team has done such a great job preparing us and at time protecting us from the ever-changing media landscape. Certainly, they've played a large role in this event today, and I appreciate you guys so much for it. Bo Lowry, Scotty Patton, Reggie Stone, Kevin Mangum, Ben Stolberg, and countless other trainers and student trainers that have tirelessly, except for Mango, he's generally tired, to keep us and return us to the field. The relationship I have with all of you I will cherish, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate the sacrifices that you've made for the betterment of my and my teammates' careers. Bum, Corey, and the entire equipment staff have been nothing but the epitome of professionalism. Never once in my entire career did I need something you all didn't already think of. I appreciate the 5,000 pairs of socks and 10,000 pairs of gloves y'all have passed to me without ever questioning what I did with the first 9,000 pairs. <laughs> there has also been a myriad of coaches that have had profound impacts on my career. Doug Marone, Aaron Cromer, Brett Ingalls, and Dan Roshar each have played the biggest roles in my development as a player. While each of you were unique, you were all the same in your selfless devotion to our offensive line room. The sacrifices you made for us and me specifically, I could never repay you for. Dan, where are you at? I don't want to look at you. OK, there you are. Sorry. <laughs> um, I know, I hope that each of you know the admiration and appreciation that I have for all of you. The strongest bond I've had with any coach in my life is Dan Dalrymple. Our strength coach and I have shared a history. We both spent time with the late Randy Walker. At Coach Walker's funeral, his wife, Tammy, told Dan, take care of Zach. Knowing now that you're the most loyal person I've ever met, it's no surprise that you took that to heart. Let me tell you, you did not let Tammy down. I've had no bigger supporter in the building from day one than Dan. Our pre-practice staff meetings have kept me going on more than one occasion, and I will miss our time together greatly. You are truly someone that is working behind the scenes to most, but you've been in the forefront of my career from day one. Thank you for your friendship. Sorry, where's Deuce? That didn't take long. I did better than I thought. I thought it was going to happen sooner. Deuce told me the only thing that I had to worry about was not crying. And 
I could not have been more fortunate than having Sean Payton as a head coach for the past 12 years. Your genius as an offensive mind and play caller are well documented. Your genius as a leader of men is only known by the fortunate few that have had the privilege of being around you in this building. I have the utmost respect for you. You had more to do with me getting an opportunity here than anyone else. You took a chance on me when no one else would. Your faith in me has changed my life forever. I will miss our meetings, talking about the team and about life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity. I've signed five contracts in New Orleans and restructured two of them. Every one of them started with a meeting in Mickey Loomis's office. This is a business that revolves around deception, constantly trying to outthink our opponents. The same can be true in the front office. In 12 years, not once did Mickey Loomis mislead me. Your honesty did not go unnoticed. These past few years, I've had the opportunity to share with you my view on so many different aspects of this organization. Thank you for the opportunity to feel so involved in every aspect of our building. You kept me around for a long time, admittedly to your own surprise. <laughs> if I was honest, I'd say it surprised me as well. Thank you for everything that you've given me. I've had so many teammates over the past 12 years that have had profound impact on both my career and my life. John Stinchcomb played, showed me the entire playbook on how to be a professional. He did it while I trained and worked to replace him. He was a coach to me when we played together. He's at time been a therapist for me since he's left. Him and his beautiful wife, Allie, have taken me in nearly every, taken me in nearly every summer since he's left and allowed me to live with their family while I trained in Atlanta. You have been the greatest of friends to me. I admire you so much, and I hope you have gotten something out of our relationship. At times, it feels like I'm the one getting all the benefits. I love you and your family for everything you've done for me. For the past eight years, I've played in front of the most prolific passer in NFL history. Drew Brees has been the single greatest motivation for me as a player. Every day I would walk into the building and pass Drew watching film. Every Thursday I would send him pictures of the menu so we could order his dinner since his work day ended four hours after ours. You've made countless sacrifices for your teammates, spent countless hours with us instead of your family. My greatest drive as a player was not to let you down. You're the greatest leader I've ever been around, and I admire you so much as a player, but more as a person. Being a small part of your Hall of Fame career has been my greatest honor as a player. I will miss being around you on a daily basis. Thank you for everything that you've done and continue to do. I could do a paragraph on about 50 players in my tenure as a player. Guys like Lance Moore, Max Unger, Roman Harper, Pierre Thomas, Scott Fajita, Jonathan Vilma, Jari Evans, Marcus Colston, Jeff Fain, Thomas Morstead, Ben Watson, Jimmy Graham, Deuce McAllister, Mark Ingram, Cam Jordan, Charles Grant. I could, but I will not go on for 10 minutes. <laughs> I have been surrounded by the greatest people on the planet, guys who are great teammates, tremendous competitors, and selfless people. You have all made the journey special, and I'll miss and have missed being around all of you. To my family, Charlotte, thank you for being by my side every day since we've met. My pr most productive years as a player have come with you behind me. You have filled my life with happiness and allowed me to give 100% to this team. Thank you and I love you. To my parents, Doug and Kathy, and my sisters, Heather and Carly, you have all been my biggest fans since, any, since before anyone else cared. You've been the strongest support system I ever could have had. The only thing any of you have ever asked of me is to be healthy. I can't thank you all enough for loving and supporting me. To my New Orleans family, Tommy, Debbie, Marissa, and Megan, you have quickly become such a huge part of my life. Every week you were in the stands and every week you were there for me, win or lose. I love and appreciate all of you. Finally, to the Houdat Nation, you are simply the greatest fans in sports. Maybe not the largest in number, but certainly the greatest in passion. What is so unique in this city is that you have truly been there no matter the outcome. 
You do not turn negative after a loss. You always see the positives coming around the corner. It was my greatest joy as a player getting to be a part of bringing you a world championship. And I fully expect you'll be getting another one quite soon. I will be right there with you cheering on our black and gold. I hope I get an opportunity to meet each and every one of you at Port Orleans. <laughs> I am not above shameless self-promotion. <laughs> I am sorry I've taken so long. When I wrote this, I kept contemplating scrapping it, simply saying thank you to everyone and walking away. My college coach, Randy Walker, who played a huge role in my development as a player and a person, passed away before I had a chance to tell him thank you for everything he did for me. It's one of my greatest regrets in life, and I vowed not to ever let it happen again. My career here has exceeded my wildest imagination. I didn't think this was going to last through my first August, let alone 12 years. My admiration of the Saints, of New Orleans Saints organization has grown daily throughout my career. Thank you to everyone who has played a role in it. It certainly was not accomplished alone. Thank you all for coming today and giving me the opportunity to do this. I acknowledge this is a very rare opportunity given to very few. To my current teammates, I'll be watching. See you at Super Bowl 53. Who dat? <laughs>